Oh, the Iranian opposition says the anti-government protests there have been spreading. The National Council of Resistance of Iran is encouraged by the brazen protests in the streets. Here's some video that they say from social media that shows anti-regime demonstrators ripping down the image of Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei. You know, that bold defiance is really almost unheard of in Iran, and it could be growing. The opposition group tells Fox News that there have been mass demonstrations against the regime in at least 31 cities, with some protesters calling for death to Khamenei, death to Iran's President Hassan Rouhani, and chanting the dictator must go. Our pro-government counter-protests have blamed the resistance group itself for the unrest. So how far can this go? Rebecca Heinrichs joins us now, a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute, who joins us from Washington. So, Rebecca, we, you know, we haven't witnessed this type of anti-regime anger unleashed on the streets since uh, at least 2009. Uh, does it possibly, potentially threaten the power grip that the mullahs have on that nation? Well, certainly there is great discontent among the Iranian people, um, and this has been brewing, and it continues to pop up, and then it goes back down. But these are there is a pro-democracy movement that has existed there. It's against the the mullahs and the control there. And I just want to say something about how brave these individuals are who are protesting the government, because this is a government that jails protesters. This is a government that has the so-called morality police that has thrown acid in the face of of women Iranians who don't cover their head properly according to the Iranian uh, dress codes there. So these are very brave people. They're tired of this regime that has had such an iron fist with the people. And so it's great that President Trump has already shown support for those who are demonstrating there. Well, you know, those people, uh, among them are the followers of Maryam Rajavi. She's the leader of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. And she gave a, a videotape statement uh, actually saying what you just said, praising what she calls the brave actions uh, of the demonstrators. Here's part of Mrs. Rajavi's statement. Listen. The Iranian people demand the overthrow of the ruling religious dictatorship. It is their right to topple this repressive regime. And I emphasize, regime change in Iran is within reach. You know, she's been leading this group, and she's been saying that for quite some time. I've interviewed her, by the way, in Paris. Does her message resonate? Will it resonate further? And can it resonate in the Oval Office? Uh, well, I think it does. I think that the the Iranian people, this is why I think one of the smartest things the Trump administration has done is to differentiate between the Iranian people and the, Iran the Iranian regime. And the Iranian regime, again, um, it supports terrorism abroad. Uh, this the Rouhani, the president of Iran, uh, many uh, former Obama officials continue to try to perpetuate the myth that he's a moderate. He's not a moderate under Rouhani's um, Control. They have uh, the Iranian government has tested missiles in violation of UN Security Council resolutions. Continues to fund terrorism with Hezbollah. Um, continues to support the Assad regime in Syria, which is brutal. And, and so um, the, the Iranian people are tired. They're tired of the isolation. They're tired of the oppressiveness of the Iranian regime. And so what the Trump administration can do is do what the Obama administration didn't: support the Iranian people, support the pro-democracy movement, and further isolate the regime. Don't fund the regime, isolate the regime, and that will um, speed up a lot of these pro-democracy movements. Why, why do you think then that the Obama administration didn't really do that? I think that the Obama administration believed that um, it could legitimize the Iranian government um, and, and that by legitimizing the Iranian government, it might have the effect in the long term of moderating the government. Of course, that is counterfactual. That isn't the way it works. You don't reward uh, regimes that oppress their people and are anti-American and anti-Israel. And so all, all the Iran deal did was it legitimized the regime and it, it sort of flushed the regime with cash to continue its anti-terrorism efforts abroad and to oppress its people at home. So now what the Trump administration needs to do is take a holistic approach to Iran and look for ways again to inflict pain on the regime and support and demonstrate solidarity with the pro-democracy movement that exists. You know, President Trump had a pretty stinging tweet uh, about all this. Uh, and, and it's in contrast, some would say, critics say, to what President Obama did during the Green Revolution in 2009, that he basically was quiet the first few days. After a, a week, he did get tougher. How can you contrast or can you contrast this president's actions against uh, the former President Obama, who some thought that if he did put the full weight of the U.S. presidency behind the Green Revolution, perhaps the uh, mullahs in Tehran would have been toppled uh, back in 2009? 
We missed a major opportunity in 2009 when President Obama, I mean, he did worse than, than not say anything in the beginning because when he did speak, he equivocated about, you know, this was still just um, up to Iran to deal with the issue. And he, he didn't condemn the Iranian regime because what the Obama administration wanted more than anything was to legitimize the regime and, and, and secure the, the, so, the nuclear Iran deal, which, by the way, it didn't even end the nuclear program. It merely paused it. And now whenever you make the regime rich, it's going to just continue. You the program once yeah, do you think, the, the, you think they the cut deal. these deals to try to, you know, preserve the nuclear deal at almost any cost? Absolutely. Absolutely. That was central to what the Obama administration was trying to do. And so it, it played down. Uh, there was a report that came out with Politico about the Obama administration um, ending an anti-Hezbollah drug cartel uh, because it was trying to, um, you know, look for opportunities to please the Iranians. And, and at all costs, it just wanted this deal with the Iranians. And so it, we really missed a major opportunity with this pro-democracy movement. Again, this isn't the United States imposing our will or our desires on this regime. This is allowing this organic movement to to, to just go, you know, take its own course. It's a sovereign nation, but the people get to decide. And, and this was, again, this, the, the Green Revolution started after 2009 um, after there was these fraudulent elections. And so the, Amer the, the Iranian people, they want to govern themselves. They want self-determination. That's something that the, the and, United and can, States government can, should support. Re Rebecca, right now, do you think if the president takes stronger measures of some sort, can that change? Ms. Raja V is saying the clerical regime will be overthrown by the Iranian people. She calls on the international community, she says, to support the Iranian people's uprising for freedom in Iran. What should the president do right now to try and make that happen? You do two things. You can demonstrate just open and unapologetic uh, just moral support to the Green Revolution that's there, to the people who are there. Um, you do what we can to make sure that uh, we condemn the Iranian regime and you further isolate, uh, levy further sanctions, and you just constantly drive this wedge between those who want self-determination and freedom and the, and the Iranian regime that poses, poses a direct threat to the American people and our ally, Israel, in the region. I guess, as they say, you can strike while the iron is hot, so we'll see if these demonstrations continue and what the result will be. Rebecca Heinrichs, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks. Of course.